Hey guys, welcome back, PG Myington here, and when we left off, we were actually still looking for telekinesis, and we got attacked by bots, and there were just a crap ton of things happening. We killed the doctor, we got incinerate, there was just so much stuff that happened last episode. We still never found telekinesis, but that's alright, we're looking for some sweet stuff this episode, and I'm hoping we can finally get telekinesis, but I was reading on this thing, and... I was able to figure out that it does say wrench shocky, so I was thinking maybe we could crack the glass and get in. I honestly have no idea how the heck you're supposed to get in there. Maybe with telekinesis, once we get it, we can get into it. Um, it's possible that the key or something might be here. It looks like there's some actually some cash right there. But um, it doesn't appear that it wants to give it to us, but somehow we flipped it up there. Unless that was already there. But I'm thinking where the... Um, telekinesis they said that i needed a key now that key is going to be in his office obviously um, let's grab the useless experiments and also let's see what else is there the register and there appears to be nothing else but a bag of potato chips which we actually kind of need at the moment and there seems to be some blue crap oh god something tells me this is not gonna end well Oh, okay, that machine's definitely going to be shooting at me, but also what I believe is going to happen is maybe the only thing that bad's going to happen is that machine. So, that's not bad, but, um, let's see, boom. And, yes, maybe this machine, alright, so that's a makeshift ball launcher, and I'm hoping that maybe once we get the, uh, this it's actually gonna maybe show it off somehow so pick up big stuff with your mind throw them at your enemies what else do you need to know all right so that is the new plasma telekinesis sweet you have run out of slots and will have to place a or replace a plasma you can buy more slots at a gatherer's garden replace plasmids can be re-equipped at the gene bank all right so i'm assuming i don't know what a gene bank is but i think that's where the things go to stay i don't know and then we can go back and get them later which is actually pretty dang cool i'm hoping that we can actually get the rest of these slots later allowing us to have six plasmids equipped at the same time or not at the same time that would be kind of ridiculous um we'd be like the last airbender slash water i don't even know anyways but we are going to need telekinesis so i'm thinking let's keep the electro bolt but it's incinerate is not really needed let's go ahead and watch this all right so oh catch grenades and throw them back i didn't even think about that so that's gonna be sweet now that we can do that so hold the left mouse button to grab objects and that thing is probably oh hey we can actually test this thing out now here we go oh son look at this we are awesome now I think oh god all right so if we right click we were actually able to stop it and we actually now have an arrow pointing us where the heck to go. Because before, we had no idea where we were going, but now we do. Let's go ahead and nail her in the face with some telekinesis, I'm thinking. Um, let's go, boom. Holy crap, we just picked up the body she was eating. Um, what did we do? Hello. Holy crap, how did... Ah, holy crap, that was amazing. Alright, I love telekinesis, it's already my favorite. I quit. I quit. I don't even care about anything else now. I think they said something about a key still, so I don't know what the heck we're supposed to be doing, but somehow we're going to have to go get that tonic or the... Let's see, can we get in through here? No, we can't. But there was the actual, the wrench mister or whatever it was, and I'm assuming that that's what we were going to want. Now, I have no idea why it's telling me to go other directions, but that is just too dang bad because I want what we are looking for, and we I've been searching containers for loot, so shut up. All right, so now that we have that over with, let's check every single door that we can check, and... Check dead bodies, most definitely, because there's going to be stuff on dead bodies. Duh. All right, so you need the chompers. Holy crap, why are you angry? All right, that happened last time I attempted that, so please don't shoot me this time. Um, crouch, crouch, thank you. All right, so now I'm assuming that we can just run by this, and let's see. We've got to be able to get in there somehow. All right, so apparently we cannot get in there currently, but eventually I'm assuming we'll be able to get in there, but I'm actually going to go run into here again where that plasmid was, and try to pick it up with telekinesis. Um, how are you supposed to get that? That just doesn't make sense. There's gotta be a way to get over there, and I think that just might be the way. Holy crap, I am a genius. I saw that earlier, and I didn't think about it, but apparently that's how you get in here, and yeah, so that's sweet, and please don't tell me that I'm gonna have to, like, telekinesis my way out of here. Alright, adios to you, and I'm wasting bullets all over the place. I am not used to having to play survival games where it's like, hey, don't waste this because you get bored. Well, 
I like wasting things because I'm bored. What else are you going to do? So now we can actually pick up Wrench Jockey. So Wrench Jockey bulks up your upper body, allowing you to wield club-like weapons or weapons with an unprecedented skill and power. So that is sweet. Um, you've picked up Combat Tonic. I know what those do, but I haven't yet used them. So now we can increase our wrench damage, which is good. It goes along well with our being bored and wasting ammo. So now I'm assuming some more enemy spawn, because I believe I heard them. And I would like to test out our wrench jockey, or mister, or whatever. What was it even called? I don't know. But who cares? It makes us hit harder. That's all that matters. So all we have to do is actually follow this. And I'm thinking... Oh god, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't throw stuff at me. Die. Die. Don't vanish. Don't be a Houdini. I know where you're going, bud. You can't run from me. Alright. Alright, be that way. Alright, I can't do that. There you go. Can you give me all your money? Alright, that sounds good. Alright, I dare you to throw a grenade at me. I dare you to throw a grenade. Alright, I'll, I'll just throw a body at you. Come here. Who do you think you are? Give me that grenade. Holy crap. Please tell me that grenade. Alright, I just got killed by a dropped grenade. Marty Dom on... Not even Fallout, but uh, Bioshock. Really? Marty Dom. That's not even cool. It was bad on... I don't even know what game it was. Black Ops... Or not Black Ops. Who am I kidding? Um, Black Ops, they've nerfed everything. And the guns you can't even shoot anyone with. But, um, let's see. What was it? Um, was it World at War? I think it was World at War. It might have been. But anyways, let's see if we can find out where that guy that just killed himself with a grenade was. Oh, he actually had a quite a few dollars on him, so that's sweet, but I think I might want to heal myself. I don't care, 16 bucks. It's fine with me, so let's follow the arrow for once, because apparently we didn't like doing that before. And now we can actually go to where that woman was on the balcony, and we can use our telekinesis, because if you guys remember, that's what we needed to use, and I hear a big daddy about to murder someone. Let's go ahead and view this site while we can without being murdered. Let's see. Um, Big Daddy's somewhere. My luck, he's probably, like, underground swimming, but, um, I have no idea where he is. So, oh well, let's just keep going and not waste any more of your time, because I know you guys have been waiting for us to have telekinesis. Hey, you want to throw something at me this time? Because I'm pretty sure you threw something at me last time. I'm not afraid to throw it back this time, so don't mess with me, bud. Let's purchase some items. Let's see. I don't need any vodka. I don't know why you would buy vodka from, I, I don't even know. But, um, let's see, we do need some first aid kits, I'm thinking, let's go one, two, and I'm thinking we should be fine now, unless we start getting our butts kicked. Hey you, hey thanks, hey, um, yeah, I'm magic, how do you like me now? That is just hilarious, I'm going to love that. Hey, yeah, you are not very good at this game, dude, what are you gonna do? You know what you're gonna do? Because I, I don't know what you're gonna do, because I have your grenades, I, I don't know what you're thinking. Hey, um, in your face, jump shot. Alright, these things move a lot more than I was hoping they would. And, you know what? Alright. There we go. Alright, that was nowhere close to where it should have been, but... Is he, like, healing? What is he doing? Alright, I have no idea how we're gonna hit this guy, because... The drop on this thing, I mean, under the ocean is the gravity, like, much greater? Because I'm pretty dang sure it's not. Why is it doing that? Alright, so we do have a Vita Chamber over here if we do die, though, so that's cool. But we are wasting a ton of our, um, I about caught it, Mana, uh, Eve. Alright, hurry up, bud. Just throw some more stuff at me and get yourself killed. Why does it go down like that? That was almost bad. Alright, please tell me he is dead, because this guy is a pain in the butt. Holy crap. Alright, so when I don't want it to, it goes straight up there, and I think he just blew himself up. Alright, so now what the heck do I do? Oh god, he's not blown up. Why? Really? Really? I'm gonna hit you in your face. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Oh, Jesus. Alright, hit him, please. Hit him, please. Hit him, please. Double, double hit. You know what? Grenade box. I just stole your grenade box. What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? Come here. Come here. Dead body. Ha. Throw something else at me. Throw something else at me. I dare you. You're dead. Bring it on. I'm gonna shoot this dead body at you. This nitro splicer. Dang it. Alright, so I'm hoping it saved our data, but we're gonna spawn at the Vita Chamber back behind us. That's the plan, I'm hoping. Um, can we just sleep in there and not do that? Because that would be good as well. And we actually have a shotgun now, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Hey, um, I don't need telekinesis anymore, most definitely. 
now that I have this, and that guy does not want to die, obviously, but he is definitely going to die, but we do have our Electrocute still, and let's see, what other gun do we have? We might be able to use this. All right, that was a headshot. That was a headshot, and that was a miss. Let's just continue running away from him. I don't know what their plan is for us to do here, but... I have hit him about 50,000 times, and I'm thinking that we're... Holy crap, how did I die again? I'm thinking that we're going to have to kill him with telekinesis, otherwise it's not going to let us go. But I've killed him like twice with telekinesis, so that's a bit ridiculous, but... I don't know. That, that guy is definitely dead. I know for a fact that he is dead. Somehow we've got to be able to leave. There has just got to be a way to leave. Are we like really good with telekinesis, or are we just... A little bit good because if we're really good we can move the sign out of the way and I would not have to deal with him anymore but obviously we're not that good yet seriously what am I supposed to all right really I just now figured that out how long did that take me to figure out my luck that person's not dead why did I just waste five minutes of your time trying to kill the same people we could have just kept stealing his grenades if we wanted to I guess but oh well Let's go ahead and continue, and he is not speaking. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no, 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 no. I don't speak English. Um, no, no, don't come after me. No, armor piercing. No, um, no, no. Oh, get some, get some health. There we go. You're not a very good bot. I just beat the crap out of you with a wrench. Oh, Jesus, what is that? What is that? What is that? All right, so F1 is actually that, but oh well. Let's go ahead and electrocute that, and... Search Slenderman. What is this? Combat Tonics. Um, static Discharge. Ryan Industries introduced the latest in wartime deterrent. Genetics. Static Discharge makes you a walking Tesla coil, zapping everything and or anything and everything foolish enough to strike you. Feel safe. Be safe with Static Discharge. That sounds amazing. I dare you. Shoot me. Hurt me. Do something. Yep, that's right. You're down. I electrocuted you. You got nothing on me. Holy crap. Yes, you do. You have something on me. Oh god, yes, 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 yes. No, where are you? Where are you? I don't know you. Um, I dare you bots come after me because I'm not dying anymore. I'm sorry. I'm going try hard mode and I'm not dying anymore. If I can hit you. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Please don't come and murder me again. Alright, so there's another one. I seriously, oh my gosh, I just got blown up after the thing was already dead. Why did I do that? I'm an idiot. All right, so the database, why is my computer popping up with that? I don't even know. Oh well, can I borrow one of your grenades? Because I'll just go ahead and throw it at them, because that would be a lot easier than what we were doing. Seriously, I thought you were dead about an hour ago. Thank you. All right, I'm going to get whatever's in that safe. I don't care if you murder me, shoot me, try to hurt me. I mean, I, I don't really care. I'm getting whatever is in the safe zapping you and um, hopping over this. I'm hoping that we can't actually be seen. Alright, so how are we going to do this? Alright, so this is going to be a little bit hard for us to do, and I'm hoping we don't like get blown up if we mess this up, but we may or may not. Oh my gosh, this is fast. Alright, so let's use this one, not that one, not that one. We don't have the right one. Oh my god. That was bad. Alright, so that's what happens when you mess up the safe. So let's go ahead and use the auto hack because we haven't used one yet, and I'm thinking this was going to be worth it. So 29 bucks. I think we can buy another auto hack for that eventually. I'm not 100% sure on that, but all it did was electrocute us, I believe, or it did something of that manner, I believe. So let's go ahead and search this safe, and now that we have wasted a little bit of our goods, let's go ahead and get out of here and follow the arrow and electrocute you because you are a big pain in the butt, and I don't want to deal with you anymore. Let's go into this door instead of the one it recommended because we are awesome like that. And let's continue on. So the same door leads to the same place, even if we went the what other can, way. Can, what can I do with this one, Aphrodite? She won't stay still. I want to make them beautiful, but they always turn out wrong. That one too Oh my god. Fat. This was too tall. Oh my god. This was too symmetrical. Holy crap. And now this guy is a nut. An intruder. Yes, an intruder. Ugly. Ugly. Holy fudge. Ugly. No, 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 no. Ugly. You're ugly. 
You're ugly. You're ugly. You're uglier than me. Come here. Come here. I have a shotgun. I have a shotgun. You have a Tommy gun. Bring it on. I dare you. I dare you. You can't shoot. You don't know how to use a gun. You're a loser. Don't even mess with me. You're dead. You have no chance. You're you're standing in water, and I have no Eve. Or you'd be dead. Or I could have lit that on fire. But I have no fire anymore because I'm an idiot once again. Um, we do have first aid though, and I think we saw some Eve in there. Um, all right, now it is your time to die. I'm sorry, bud, but you are about to be pushed downstairs, and I'm gonna own your face off. So that's basically how your life's gonna go. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, that's just the truth of the matter. All right, where are you, and why are you squatting down to reload your ammo, I think? I don't know. All right, so go down into the water this time, I dare you. Holy crap, what just happened? That's what happens when people touch you, apparently, and I'm awesome. So, where is this guy now? Dang, this gun is not accurate at all. I have no idea how we're going to kill this person. Um, I'm going to bring him downstairs, to be honest with you. I would rather, you know, risk it than have to do it, you know what I mean? All right, come on down here, bud. I dare you. I dare you. All right, so what I'm thinking of doing is leading him up the stairs and electrocuting the crap out of his face. And I think he got a little bit smart and does not want to come over here. He's going to have to, though. Oh, crap. There he is. Never mind. He didn't get smart. Adios, bud. You are definitely dead. No, you can't do anything about it when you're in the water. I mean, just shouldn't have been an idiot. And you are dead. Let's go and finish him off with the ratchet. What the heck? He rehealed. That's not even cool. You little cheater, come here. Oh, we're beating the crap out of you. I don't even care. Bring it on. Bring it on. You're not going to reheal. I don't think so. We do not reheal in this game. No. Go ahead. Electrocute yourself. Come on. Hit me. I dare you. And, hey, no. No, 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 no. All right. There we go. That was really close. All right. So, Dr. Steinman, he is dead. Now we have the emergency access key, 37 anti-personnel, auto rounds, and 40 machine gun rounds. I was hoping we'd get a good gun out of that. Oh well. Alright. So, machine gun, desk, and hack. Alright, let's use an auto hack. Oh no, this one's going to be easy, I'm thinking. So, I don't know why they do this to me from the very beginning, because it is a pain in the butt. But, oh well, let's go ahead and use this. And these seem to be easier for some reason, even though I did fail that one. And I'm hoping that's the only one I'm going to have to give up on in the game, but it may or may not be. Let's go ahead and increase the flow speed and see what we got out of this safe. Now, I'm happy we actually used it on the other safe instead of this one, which was cool. But let's pick up this first aid kit as well. And I'm thinking we can go ahead and continue now. All right, so let's search that woman and... Sadly, she had a diary. I don't know if I want to listen to it because it was probably of her being bl brutally murdered here. I have no idea why he was beating the crap out of them. And he's done that to like five of them. I, I thought that was the head of the person. I'm like, holy crap, what has he done? Apparently, he's done nothing. But oh well, let's see if we can find anything else down here. I'm assuming there shouldn't be anything else. I'm hoping. If there is, then crap. Um, all we have to do is go on upstairs and continue on with the mission. Now, I don't even know what the mission of this game is, but... Or I know what the mission is. Oh, God. But I don't know what our current mission is. Let's go ahead. And we have absolutely no Eve. Really. What, are, what the heck are we going to do? There's nothing we can do. Um. Oh, God. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, there we go. That's how you do it. So, can we search that gun turret? I think we made that a little bit mad. That is not good. All right, so we're on security alert. Holy fudge muffins. How did that happen? This is bad. This is bad. Give me a dead body. Give me something. Give me. Give me. Um, Tommy gun. Holy crap. She's very angry. They are all very angry. There are a ton of angry women after me. And one of those turrets. And holy crap. There were like 50 of them. What the heck was I supposed to do? I mean, that's when aim just goes out the window. It's not even worth trying to aim. I swear if I die again, I'm going to be mad. No. 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 I just got like 10 health packs and you're going to come and kill me? Really? What kind of person are you? You are a bad person. Alright, give me that. Yes, I'm using first aid. Really? There's yet again another one after me. How the heck am I supposed to put up with this? Alright, I'm just running the heck away. Alright, we're getting out of here. 
So that's what happens when you blow up that kind of stuff, apparently. Don't don't blow up turrets. They don't like to be blown up, and not, I don't either, and that's what they're trying to do to me now. So that's not good, but at least there is a Vita Chamber, or Vita, or Velvita. I don't know, cheese, sure. All right, let's go ahead and continue, and hope we don't get blown up while we're in this tube, because that would be a little bit creepy. 18 fathoms down, and that blow up. Oh, God. Oh, God, what's going on? That was a flashback. Um, we're inside of this, so I have no idea what's going on. Some guy's obviously getting beaten up by a big daddy, but I don't know where he is. Is he above? Um, this sounds a bit bad, but I would kind of like to see what just went on there. Let's see, is it above us or is it below? I have no idea, but let's just continue on and forget all about the crazy big daddy beating up people because that sounded a little bit bad, but I don't think this door was open. Oh my god, that's what happened. Did a big daddy just get beaten up? Oh god, that was a bouncer. Holy crap, how did that bouncer die? Um, I I don't really want to do it anymore. And me. Holy crap, and no. Tasty Adam, like drink. Oh crap, no. Thank you. Who shot him? Who shot him? Cooked him up? What? I don't like her. She looks creepy anyway. She looks like the creepy lady from, uh... What was it? Um, heck, I don't even know what the book was. It wasn't a book. I definitely didn't read the book. I watched the movie. Um, what was it? Oh, so she's actually giving me some Adam. Holy crap, we're a good catch, too. Sweet. I will make it to be worth your while. Alright, so we don't have to hurt her. Can we talk? Oh, crap. Nope. Don't talk to her. That's a bad idea. Definitely a bad idea. Choose whether to rescue the little sister or harvest Harvest. If you harvest her, you get maximum atom to spend on plasmids, but she will not survive the process. If you rescue her, you get less atom, but Tenenbaum has promised to make it worth your while. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to feel bad, so let's press L. No, no, I said rescue, no, right? No. Please tell me I re said rescue. Please tell me I said rescue. Please tell me I said rescue. Okay, she didn't die. Thank you. Oh, okay, that's good. Alright, so I'm thinking at the end of the game, or somewhere at the game where we're gonna need it obviously but I would think the end where we have to fight a giant boss she'll probably give us something special of special plasmid something like that I'm pretty sure he was yelling at me for not helping oh hey we found another machine what is this so the gatherers garden and we have enrage um, reduces all physical damage Eve link first aid also gives you Eve Increases your maximum health and increases your maximum Eve. So that sounds sweet. Let's see. Enrages your target. Um, yeah, I really don't want to buy any of these right now, to be honest. I'm thinking Eve Link might be the best way to go because you're always going to have Eve if you do have health, pretty much, I suppose. But um, I don't know if we want to spend anything yet. Let's go ahead and use the brief or briefcase. And, yeah, to be honest, I don't know if we want to buy anything yet because maybe there's going to be something later on. Maybe. Um, I personally, my favorite plasmid of all time on Bioshock 1, or it might have been Bioshock 1, I don't even know, I think it might have been, no, it was Bioshock 1, was a bees one, where you could actually shoot bees out of your hand, I loved that plasmid, it was amazing, and it was super good once you got it upgraded, I think you can upgrade, I don't know, I don't even remember to be honest with you guys, but I do remember that plasmid was amazing, and I really liked it, so, um, what are you doing in the corner here? Sorry, I just shot her like 50 times when it was unnecessary, but I felt she was a little bit angrier than the usual, so we had to shoot her a lot. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on and probably kill this last guy that's laughing at me. Oh god. 
What? There's another little sister ahead. To get the atom from her, you must deal with the, her big daddy first. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here with the cliffhanger. And next episode, in the beginning, we're going to be taking on a big daddy. Now, if you guys don't know, that's that giant mechanical walking robot with yellow eyes that is... Bioshock known and that's basically why you guys know of Bioshock because of that guy right there those guys are awesome I think they're pretty dang hard to fight, but we'll figure it out and hopefully we can beat him But anyways to see that next episode, please do hit the like button as well as the subscribe button And I'm gonna go ahead and thank you guys for watching. So thank you guys for watching. This has been PG Myington, and I will see you guys next time. Peace